Here tonight, God, we give you honor and glory. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Trust him, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God in the name of Jesus. His love is like a flower. Because sometimes when we believe things just get that much worse. Amen. And we can't see no daylight. Can't see no peace. Can't even see no hope sometimes. Amen. I read the Word of God where His two sisters in the way called Jesus. To come and heal her brother. Amen. And the Bible said Lazarus was one that Jesus loved. Amen. And the Bible said he may be tarried for a few more days. Amen. Because he knew that there was something going to happen. And he had to see the glory of God. You see, Jesus knew that Lazarus was about to die, man. And Jesus knew that whenever he died, he'd get up again. Amen. Can I get an amen? You see, when troubles come and people don't just do what we want them to do, God knows what the outcome's going to be. Can I get an amen? He looks way farther than we do. Amen. And whenever we came down, amen. she believed and he said she said yeah I believe that he'll be raised in the resurrection in the last day he said I am the resurrection hey man he said believe us now then come on praise Amen. God she said yeah but she really didn't she didn't understand God she didn't understand what was going on because if she did praise God she would have knew right then what was going to happen sometimes things happen in our life that you have to grow in a and the knowledge of the Lord Jesus. And if you never had any hard times, you never know how to trust Him. Amen. Can I get an amen? If you never been in any battle, you'd never be a warrior. 
is for His glory. Amen. Everything. Yeah. Bless Everything is for the glory of God. It may not look much to you or to anybody else, but if God's hands on it, it's glory. Can I get an amen? It don't make no difference what it is. But the Bible said it came down to the time where Mary and Martha was going to have to prove their faith. Amen. And the Bible said that he God walked up to the stone and he said, roll a stone away. And Martha said, Lord, my, he been dead for four days. Sure he stinketh. And Jesus all he just looked at her and he said, Martha, I've already told you that if you would only believe Amen. that you should see the glory of God. Can I get a name? That's all we ask for you to believe. Can I get a name? And the Bible said that all things are possible. Amen. Amen. I got news for you, church. Jesus didn't cry out for the dead to come forth. No, sir. No, <laughs> because if he had, they'd all jumped out of the grave. Yeah, that's right. He was looking for one person yeah. to glorify his name Amen. and to let his family know that Jesus Christ was king. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he cried out. Says it can. Try. 
I don't watch it on my mind all day. I've had horses on my mind all day. My mind's went just crazy all day long. Amen. When God says it can be done, it can be done. When God said I'll go with you, He meant I'll go with you. So. Amen. When God says it's going to be all right, it's going to be all right. Amen. Bless you, God. I thought about that little white horse you've got over there in the field. That horse came back to my house for the glory of God. Amen. I was upset because, hey man, of the way it come back, coming back to my house. Amen. I thought people was crazy. Fellow told me, like, he said, I hope you have fun with that horse. And he said, I ended up having to take the horse back. Amen. I'll just be honest with you. To keep a fellow from talking about the preacher. You see, people want to be horsemen, but they don't know what a horse is. Yeah, <laughs> they don't know how to handle a horse. They don't know what to do. They don't even know nothing about a horse. We have to pretend to the biggest horseman in the world. Amen. I had all the paperwork. I had everything. So I just told him, I said, I'll just replace it, amen. I'll give you the best I've got for what you think is not worthy of anything. And I said, praise God, we'll just call it even. I said, I'll be friendly, but we're never going to be friends. That's just the way it is. Huh? Come on. That's just the way sometimes you can't be friends with people. So when I got when got the horse, he liked, he said, I hope you have fun with it. He said every time I put the saddle on, she bucks the saddle off. I said, okay. I took her to the house, Jack, I put her in the round pen one evening, and some of these boys is going to go get some more horses, and I usually, if I, if I know one's going to get me, I usually wait for a man to hold it till I can get on it. God told me, he said, ride it. I said, are you sure, Lord? He said, I'm going to tell you, ride it. He said, it's all right. Get on her and ride her. It's fine. I said, all right. Please. I just stepped up on her and went to ride her. No, it's never done a thing. <coughs> this is the right back here rode her. Amen. All over the place. People had never rode before rode this little Mary, man. You know she rides fine, don't she? Amen. You see, that's what God can do. God said, I'll get me glory. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen? I'll get me glory. They said he'd never have a cold. That's what they said. The fellow said he'll never have a call. I said he will. <laughs> B.J. Phipps has got a cold out of it right now. It's almost three years old. Amen? Amen. God's glory is standing in the field down here. Yeah. Don't tell me that God can't do it. Amen? Amen. When people come against you, God can take care of it. Come on! All right. You see, God can get the glory. God knows what's going to happen in your life next. You don't know. Bless the Lord. Do you believe God? Amen. Do you believe God? Amen. Do you believe God? Amen. I ask again, do you believe God? Amen. In the Word of God, they may pray God we think we're convinced of a whole lot of things, but God says no, it's this one. Amen. 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 It's been a minute time I made a turn down going down the road, God said turn around and go the other way. And every time I didn't, I ended up in trouble. Amen. Amen. Right now, we're taking your pocket knife and the hay field with you. If you don't, you're in trouble. God says, take it, you don't take it because you're going to need it. Come on. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. 
God said, I'll lead you, I'll guide you, I'll go with you to the ends of this world. But if we don't listen to God, it don't do us a bit of good. Amen. We end up shipwrecked somewhere. Amen. 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 I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody or not. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> but you see, these women thought Jesus would come and heal their brother. He was sick. And it looked pretty bad on their behalf. Sometimes things look pretty bad in our eyes. Yeah. And we think God ought to have done fixed it. Yeah. Amen? Amen. I prayed for these boys. I prayed for a whole lot of people. And it seems like the more I pray, the meaner they get, and the worse it gets. But you know when it's at, when it comes about and they're steadfast, what a testimony they'll have. Amen. Amen. Something's going to melt their heart. Yep. God said it, I believe. Amen. See, God still loves them. And He knows what's going to happen. I don't. Come on. I hear things. I see things. God speaks to my heart, Jeff, and you know He does. I've searched for things. And sometimes I look for things and, and God said, just wait just a few minutes. You're getting too big a hurry, just wait a minute. So not only your time, just hold off just a few minutes and I've got this thing. You see, sometimes we get in too big a hurry. Amen. I know one time in my life, they man, there was a family that lost everything they had and they filed bankruptcy and I sold everything that I could come up with, had churches rallying, and praise God, we give them all kinds of money. Boy, I like lost everything. God said, you and him, you should have left it alone. I had him where I could touch him and you messed it up. Come on. But you see, sometimes we think we know something when we really don't. We just left it alone and trusted God. Just trust Him. Just trust Him. You pray just a minute. Bless Him, Lord. If I'd have read any scripture, this scripture came to me three times since I've been here. And if anything, I'm just going to read it and leave it with you. Now, I don't know what people believe. Sometimes by the way people act, I just don't know if they believe anything or not. But that's not for me to decide. Maybe they're just having a bad day. You pray just a minute. Very familiar scripture. I've read this in this church. I don't know. I can't even number the times. 16th chapter of the book of Mark. pray just a minute. I want to read to you this chapter, if God be in my help. You know, I get excited sometimes. Well, most people who know me know I get excited quite a bit. It don't take much to get me stirred up. You can tell by the look in my eye this evening. I get excited and I can't help it sometimes. Sometimes I act before I think. Amen. Amen. It'll leave you with a scar. I'm telling you. It's the truth. I'm telling you the truth, brother. But the Bible said, and, and you pray real hard, said in the first verse, And when the Sabbath was past, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and, and Solomon 
had, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very, very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came into the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering, entering into the sepulchre, a man, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he said unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified and is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid Him. But go your way. Tell His disciples and Peter that He goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see Him. And He said unto you, Amen, and they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, then He appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom He had cast seven devils. And she went and told them that had been with Him, and they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that He was alive and had been seen of her, believed not. After that He appeared in another form unto two of them, and they walked and went into the, into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Afterward He appeared unto the eleven, and as they sat at meat, and upbraided them, their, upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen Him after He was risen. And He said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if, any, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, He was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the Word with signs and wonders. Amen. Praise God. Let me tell you something today. God don't make mistakes. And God, the Bible said, preaching the Word in the demonstration of the Holy Holy Ghost. Hey man, do you know, brother, the day we live, there's very few people that'll stand in the pulpit on Sunday morning and preach with the power of God. Hey man, the word people can see the evidence of God's word. Can I get an amen? They won't proclaim the gospel like God said to do it. He said there would be signs that would follow you if you believe him. Can Did you believe? I believe that. Amen. You believed him, didn't you? Amen, brother. You had to go through the operation. But praise God, when the outcome came, the answer was still the same. Didn't God tell you when you prayed you'd be okay? Didn't He tell you it wasn't cancer? Praise God, let me tell you something. The doctor, somebody's hand had to see the power of God. Praise God! 
<laughs> I've had people who make fun of everything I've got. It don't make no difference. Right. You should coon hunt a whole lot. Do you know how much jealousy there are in coon hunting? Come on! Bless you, Lord. There ain't no such thing as just being good to people and hunting with people anymore. It's everybody's got to have the best. I told the boy he throwed off on my dog so much, I told him I was going to take that old one-eyed shepherd the next time we win. He said, you ain't going to take that. I said, pray God, she'll treat as many coons as yours will. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Come on. I don't need a registered dog. All I need is Jesus. Amen. I believe I can take a chihuahua in the woods and carry it in my pocket and pray right here and hit a tree every coon in the woods. Can I get it? Come on, praise God. Do you believe him or not? The same difference with your cancer. If you hadn't have believed him, you might have been eaten up in the hospital today. Can I get it? Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord. I know why Brother Rick didn't get out of the hospital. He ain't figured it out yet. He was playing the gospel. Nobody even thought about it. Amen. He's giving out CDs left and right to the nurses. Everybody come in. God wasn't letting him leave till the right one got the right message. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Come on. Sure things don't go the way we want to. You didn't want to have to face what you had to go through, did you? No, no I had I had no faith. Bless you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. When God gave your testimony of steroid shot, it got bigger, didn't it? Amen. Yeah. It got more important. Amen. It amen. got serious. Can you get an amen? Amen. Sometimes if your testimony gets stopped to you, you know, something will happen, you'll get boosted. Yeah, amen. God will take care of you, I promise you. Yes. Amen. Amen. But you gotta believe God. And I'm gonna tell you right now, God's bigger than anything in this world. Amen. amen. Anything. He went with his disciples. Went with them. Confirming his word with signs and wonders. God ever showed you something and you proclaimed it to somebody and they made fun of you? Yeah. Amen. Come on. <coughs> People don't understand you. You ever been there? Amen. You know what I'm preaching tonight, don't you, brother? Yeah. Hey, man, I thought you was crazy, didn't you? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> God says you ain't crazy, Jerry. I'm going to show them when you belong to me. So just hold on when it comes to place. Everybody's going to see the glory of your Father. Three Hebrew children had to face the fiery furnace. They had to face it. Because without facing it, the king wouldn't have knew that their God was real. Yeah, amen. That's right. Yeah. God could have put the flames out. He could have broke the arms of the strong men and throw them in the burn, and they could have gone loose and run. Amen. But they were bound up, hand and foot, and had to face the king. And you know what they said? Oh, king, we, we, we're not slow to answer thee, O king. We know not whether our God will deliver us, amen, from the fiery furnace, but we know this one thing, that our God will deliver us from your hands. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Win or lose, amen, amen. these winners. Amen. Come on. Amen. Live or die, these winners. Can I get an amen? amen. So I believe in God, huh? by believing God, that God was going to deliver an answer, the flames slapped out of the furnace, burned up a man and put them in, yeah. bound down, amen. They threw them in the furnace, and the king himself wrought, amen, yeah. looked down toward the furnace, yeah. the top yeah. dog of the country, yeah. looked down, yeah. and he said, Did we not cast three men? Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. Lord, I love you, Brian. Bless you. We'd rather go through the easy. How's God going to say? How's people going to see me in your life if everything's easy? Yes, yeah. in the Lord. Amen. Amen. I don't know why this comes to my mind, but they sung a song in the revival meeting. It's talking about his mama's prayers. And he's in a Bible field, and I can't remember the name of the song. Ken Holmes and his wife sung it. And this young man, they was in a foxhole, and they, and they were blowing him up, Jeff. And they needed a volunteer to go get reinforcements, and they had them pinned down, and the artillery just flashing all over their head. And there's a young man in that foxhole, he raised his hand and said, I'll go. Under one condition. Wait till nine o'clock. And I'll go at nine o'clock. Yeah. I will go at nine o'clock. And they asked him, why should we wait till nine o'clock? He said, because my mama will be praying at nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> and when my mama prays, the angels stay in the kitchen. I wait to go down. And fight for who she's a praying for. Say you wait till nine when my mama prays. And I'll go get help. And I'll get an amen. Woo! Do you believe what you say you do? Do you believe what you pray about? Amen. Do you believe enough for what God said in your life, amen, for you to do? Do you believe enough to step out and take a chance? It's one of the Word of God that had a son. And he had a spirit in him. I read here this the other day. Sometimes you throw him in the fire or fire and burn him and hurt him. And the Lord asked him and said, Do you believe? He said, Yeah, Lord, I believe, but help me with my unbelief. Yeah. Help me with the doubt that's in my mind. When I doubt you, Lord, to tell me, and when you tell me something about it, Lord, would you tell me? When things don't go just like I thought, would you tell me? Help me with my own belief. Show me just an ounce. You see, it don't see it shouldn't take much for you if you believe God to start believing again. Amen. Hey man, oh Elijah, man, I, I got I'm gonna hug. I, I get started. Lazy, start. There's a lot of coming, sister. Oh Elijah was one that God gave the power of prayer. Elijah they call him, the theologian called him a prophet of fire. Because he called fire down, amen. And burn them up. Can I get an amen? And oh, Elijah stood nose to nose with King Ahab and told him, he said, it'll not rain except by my word. Amen. amen. And the Bible said when he prayed, believe in God, that right. he shut the heavens up yeah. for three years and six months. Let's and see. everything dried up. Right. The Bible said the wild ox was a snubbing up a dove. They didn't have nothing to eat. The Bible He come back and said, Do you see anything? He said, No. He said, Go and look again. And he began to pray. The Bible said he came back and said, I see a cloud. Locking into a man's hand. <coughs> arising up. And all I had to jump up and gird himself. He said, Get out off this man I hear an abundance of rain. Can I get an amen? And according to the word of God, amen, when God touched. It didn't take much to get a running spell out of that old boy. Now, you know why? Because he believed God. The Bible said, said a running spell. I don't read that. The Bible said he outrun the chariot and the horses. I'm on the wood. That's a running spell if you ask me. Can I get a name And the God opened the heavens and it rained. Oh, I don't know why that fell. Hang on just a minute. The Bible said, Elisha was a man with like passions such as me and you. Yeah, that's right. 
Right. And he prayed for it to rain off, and it rained on a space of three years and six months. Right. Now he goes on to say, Amen. Bless him, Lord. The effectual fervent prayer, prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Yeah. Effectual and fervent means with warmth and feeling. A righteous man means praise God you're in the tomb of God. Amen. Amen. Get a, a righteous man is somebody that's living for Jesus. Now come on. A righteous woman is somebody that's living for God. Amen. That's close to God. That's never wavered and staying with it. Said so never. You may have failed God, but if you've repented, the brother's done ready, amen. Repent. Go back to working for Jesus and get away from the devils amen. that cause you to fall a star. Can I get it? Get away from it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Start your new life. Amen. Come on. When it hurts, you'll quit. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 When it hurts, you'll quit. Come on. I don't know if anybody got anything out there. Get you a sermon. Listen to me today. God's our answer. I don't care what the world says, Billy Joe. I don't care what the how evil it gets. God's still the answer. Amen. Amen. They can't go with so far. They can't push you with so far. Come on. Come on, they go all around you, but they can't push you. Read the 91st Psalm. Read it. Psalm 91. God give the angels charge over you. Amen. 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 Yeah. You see, God done looked in your testament. Yeah. Amen. 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 You see, it could have been bad. God made it great. Amen. 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 Do you believe it? Or does anything and everything turn your mind around? Are you easy swayed? The Bible says a double minded man is unstable in all of his ways. He's like the waves of the sea, he's tossed to and fro. Amen. Come on. There's been many a time God sent me somewhere and they thought it was crazy, yeah. Bless you. And these witnesses. The Bible said confirming his word with signs and wonders. I was preaching the Bible in this church one time, years ago. And God told me on Friday night to tell him to sit there, Brother Lester was sitting there. If he's here, he'd tell you the truth. And I told him, I said, Brother, you got to get somebody to preach on Saturday night, I won't be here. Remember that? God sent me to the Carson's woods. To your wife's grandma's house. In the yard, they was having a picnic. I left her Bible, went to a picnic in the yard. Said, really? God wasn't in that. You ain't heard the rest of it. Yeah, bless it. There was a man there who was fixing to have heart surgery that was lost without God. God allowed us to preach in that yard and that man give his life to Jesus. Nothing to do with me. You see, I was obedient and I got to witness the power of God. While he was praying to give his life to the Lord and God told me to get up. This was on Saturday. God told me on Sunday morning, on Saturday night, go to Comer's Rock, Virginia. Amen. And take my horse. That's what he said on Sunday morning. I've been put down for that more than anything in life. But I'm here to tell you, pray God, somebody thanks God today that somebody believe God. Can I get an amen? Come on, praise God. God told me. He said, you go over there, there'll be somebody on a black horse. He didn't tell me it was a woman, man. He just said a black horse. That's what he said, but And he said, they'll need you. So I got up off of my knees and I asked him to pray for me that I was going to have to go to Comer's Rock, Virginia in the morning and look for a black horse. I loaded up my horse sister, me and Caleb, and we headed down the road. 
got to laughing there sitting brother Jeff Ashley a whole bunch of people sitting out the car watch, said I believe we'll just go with you preacher Amen. it didn't look good we got down there at the mouth of Wilson there and they, the radio come on and that little beeper went off <laughs> severe weather attack Hurricanes, Comer Rock, Virginia. Tornadoes, hits and touch and down in Comer Rock, Virginia. Black as ace of spades the clouds was. I sort of got a little afraid. I thought, oh, Lord, I'm going to miss this. I, you know. <clears throat> so we went over there and parked, and his horse drove and parked all around us. Everybody's gone. One horse inside. We sat in our way for the ranger. We got outside of our horses up. We stood there and talked for 30, 45 minutes, waiting for the hurricane to hit. Tornado's going to touch down, sister. Right down that path. And it looked like it, too. And all at once, here come a truck and a trailer pulled right in behind us. The second horse off of that trailer was a black horse. Just as six feet hit the ground, another trailer pulled in. And there was two black horses on that trailer. And I thought, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They looked at me and said, what are you going to do, preacher? I said, I'm going to talk to these people. We went down in the parking lot and I walked up to the first one that got out and there's a woman that's standing there with a young woman. Amen. And I looked at her and I said, man, you don't know me and you're going to think I'm crazy. But I said, I was a praying with a fellow in the yard last night and God said to come here and He said if there'd be somebody on a black horse that needed a preacher. And about that and there's an elderly man walked around and his hands are shaking, Jack, you remember? And the tears are running off his face. And this is what he said. It's me, preacher. It's me. Amen. Praise be unto God. The two girls is on the black horses fell down and prayed with us. Honey, heaven fell in that parking lot that morning. Glory to God. We went ahead and the rain. <coughs> Rose the rain that evening. We felt so good. A month later or so, a girl called my house and she said, Preacher, I don't know how you knew to get that place. She said, Me and my mama prayed for my sister for three years. God to save her and get her in church. She said, Ever since we prayed in that yard in that driveway, she said, My sisters went and got my mom and took her to church. She said she ain't missed the church for me. For me. And I know what God can do. People talked about me. They told me I'm crazy. But every time God showed me to be in a place, it was there. Amen. Come on. When God tells you something, He don't miss it. He don't miss it. It's there in living color. Amen. I could tell you stories here all night long where God has sent me places. And it's right on time. God's right there. Amen. So if it's all right with you, I think I'll just go on and follow God. And I believe I'll just believe Him. As crazy as it looks to you, just leave me alone. I'm going on with Jesus. Amen. And I'm going to win somebody else to the Lord. You see, it ain't about me. And it ain't about you. It's about what God has done in your life. Amen. Somebody else is going to need your testimony. Amen. Yeah. They're going to need old Jim Osborne to tell them that God is still real. Amen. He worked in your life. And if He worked in yours, He can work in theirs. Can I get an amen? amen. amen. Come on. Amen. And I'll tell you this. God don't lead you to turn back. He said to stand and be strong in the power of His mind. When you've done all you can do, just stand. Don't be swayed. Stand firm on what God said. I'm going to hurt you. Get you something. I'm going to hurt you many times. I know things don't seem... Sometimes brother things seem a little crazy. But I'm telling you, God's got it. It may seem crazy to me and you, but God knows everything that He puts it together, Jim. Amen. Amen. He puts it together. And everything, amen.
you all to see what God's supposed to do. It ain't over yet. If it was that, go on. Come on. It ain't over yet. Never had it. When God says it's done, we're out of here. Amen. Amen. You see, there's somebody else we can heal. There's somebody else that needs to talk to God. There's somebody else that needs us to be a witness for them, to be strong, that they might know. Amen. Come on. I've tried my best today to walk by faith. Sometimes it's hard to see things when you're walking by faith because sometimes you just have to close your eyes and trust God in all wants and desire. It's just like you see it. I've mentioned this church many times. We're the same fellowship, whatever you want to do. If you need to pray, I'll pray with you. But you know, I never could understand why people would pray to God and never ask Him exactly what they want. Yeah. People say, Lord, I need a car, but spend whatever you want me to have. When they really want the blue one. <laughs> Come on, I'm telling you the truth. But they're afraid to ask for a blue. Don't you think God knows the difference in the colors? Come on. If you want to be a witness, ask to be a witness. If you want to have the power of God, ask for the power of God. If you want knowledge, ask of God. Amen. That's what the Bible said. Come on. Right. If you want a new stove, ask for one. Work, didn't it? Yeah, did it? You sort of disappointed because the first one didn't work out, did it? Yeah, I prayed about a trailer being Dave's here tonight, I can tell Liz. Prayed about a trailer. Brother Dave back there had a big wife sitting on the hill up there. You remember that evening? I stopped and asked you if I had my trailer. Dave said, Are you crazy? <laughs> He said, that's what I hold up for, whether it is. I said, well, it looks just like the one I was praying about. And God said, he's going to give it to me. He said, it ain't that. <laughs> and it wasn't that. Come on, if it had been that, he'd have had it ready for me. But you see, God had one in West Jefferson with a fellow I didn't know anything about. Never seen him before in my life. And God touched his heart and told him to give that little crazy preacher his trailer. Can I get him there? Woo! Come on now! It ain't praise God for you. We look in the wrong places sometimes. Amen. Yeah, 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 I felt that. When God's already got it right here, and we're over here somewhere wandering around when, and when we just get right down to business and say, God, you leave me in here, say, turn up this road. You know what we used to do? People used to think it was crazy, did you? When I first started preaching, let me tell you what we used to do together. Me and some more young preachers would get out and ride around nice County. <clears throat> and we'd just ride, drive. And we'd pray. And we'd pray, God, you lead us to the house that you want us to stop at. We'd be going down the road and almost God say, turn in right here. We just turn and never know to anybody that lived there. God said, turn in. We'd walk up to the door and knock on the door and tell them who we was and go tell them about Jesus. And he sent us there. And every time I knocked on the door, the tears rolled out of somebody's face because God was working on it before we got there. Amen. Can I get an amen? Come on! Amen. You see, we want to go and talk to who we want to talk to and be where we want to be. But God said, Amen, go over here. I don't touch this. And if you go over here, I'll let you go back around to that place. Can Well, I felt that. We got to get back to believing. Just believing. If I didn't believe everything that God told me and give everything I had away this week, it'd be a whole lot easier to just sit at home and do nothing. Amen? Then to keep trying to go on for Jesus. Come on, people. Somebody knows what I'm Bless preaching. You, I'm going to hook. Get you a song. What are you going to sing? We'll fellowship. you. Come on.